Now, do you remember when we told you that the Trudeau government would be receiving the report from Justice Rillo on the public inquiry into the Emergencies Act two weeks before anyone else? Well, it appears as though that may not be the case anymore. To talk about this in more detail is lawyer Eva Chepiak, who is representing a number of Ottawa protesters who were at the Freedom Convoy last winter, and she joins us now from Edmonton. Eva, now it appears as though our Prime Minister may be receiving Justice Rouleau's report at the same time as Parliament and the public. When will that be? We haven't heard directly from the Commission itself. Uh, parties haven't been notified about this, but what was... Um, at least advertised in mainstream media was that an extension was granted by a government source and that the deadline of February 20th to table the whole report to the House of Commons and Senate is still going forward. But you raise also an interesting point because I actually just assumed um, and the lawyers I'm working with assumed the public would be getting it at the same time as the House. But some people have raised that concern because it does just say it's going to be tabled. So what really happened? Was there pressure put on the Trudeau Liberals to become a little more transparent? Well, I would hope so, because as we've talked, you know, many times, the Emergencies Act is not just any regular act. It has inside of it this mechanism for an inquiry because it's such a drastic and extraordinary tool the government can use. So it should be incredibly transparent, all of this. So I do hope that it was in an effort to be transparent. It shouldn't have happened at all, in my op opinion. The cabinet or anyone else should be getting a secret copy of the report in advance. Eva, what are you anticipating to find in Justice Rouleau's report? One thing that I would love for your viewers to know, and I've been trying to make this um, really known to the Canadian public, is that the cabinet and Prime Minister Trudeau relied on a legal opinion to, to invoke the Emergencies Act. And they provided us that legal opinion that was 10 pages, but every single page was completely blanked out. So my question to Canadians is, is that enough? Is that transparent? Do Canadians deserve to see that legal opinion um, so that it can inform Commissioner Rulo, it can inform Canadians on what it was that the federal government used in order to invoke the Emergencies Act? In my opinion, all of this should have been on the table a long time ago. Thanks so much, Eva. That was Eva Chipiak, Edmonton lawyer who's representing a number of Ottawa protesters who participated in the Freedom Convoy last winter.